Welcome everyone to another storytelling session from our family home in Kilran, County Wexford, Ireland. And today we are going to bring the story of Satanta alive for you. And this is a very old story from Irish mythology and it was specially requested by my lovely friend Ashling's daughter Alana. So Alana, especially for you and for everyone else watching, here is the story of the mythological dog as requested. So a long, long, long time ago, thousands of years ago in the land of Ireland, there was a young boy whose name was Satanta. His mother was Dector and his father sold them, but some said he was actually the son of Lu, the god of light. Be that as it may, he was a very unusual young boy. He had amazing strength and skills with a hurl and power such as one would never see in a boy of his young age. He knew all about the Red Branch Knights who served his uncle, King Conor MacNessa of Ulster. And he really, really wanted to be a warrior he really wanted to train with the Makra, the young group of Red Branch Knights. And he begged and beseeched his mother over and over, please, you know I'm strong enough, you know I'm brave enough, you know I can do it. But his mother, like all mothers, was very protective of her young son and said, no, you're too young, Satanta, not yet. But he pleaded and he pleaded and he asked and he asked. And eventually one day she relented. And she said, very well, now look after yourself. And when you get to your uncle, the king, you tell him that you've come with my blessing, but that I expect him to look after you and let no harm come to you. Be safe, my lovely son. So off he went. And of course, because he was so skilled with a heart, to talk to you. And so in came Satanta. What's your name? My name is Satanta. My uh, sister's uh, son. You're welcome here. But uh, you should know that it's against the rules to do what you just did. That said, you fought bravely, and I would be proud to have you as one of uh, of my Makra. I would be honoured. Now please uh, join me in the uh, feasting hall. And so that night, a great feast was held, and young Satanta sat beside his uncle the king and marvelled at the great hall at all the knights of the Red Branch, at their tales and exploits of battle and adventure. And over the next weeks and months, he became a valued part of the Makra. And one day, King Connor was invited to a feast at the home of Cullen the blacksmith. He thought it might be a nice 
change for young Satanta to go to such a feast. So he called him to him again. Satanta. Yes. We, my uh, favourite blacksmith, Colin, has invited me to a feast in his abode. Ooh, fantastic. It is fantastic. And what's even more fantastic is that it's a, an exciting opportunity for you to get to know the man as I know him. For Cullen had made the king's favourite sword. My favourite sword. It is a lovely piece of work. Isn't it? However, Satanta, being so keen on his hurling and his skills, told his uncle, the king. Well, see, I have a bit of training now and then I'll have a hard match after that, but I'll follow you. I will see you at the feast. You will? Do not disappoint me. I wouldn't dream of it. And so King Connor made his way to the home of Colin the blacksmith. King Connor, you are so very welcome to my home. It, I am delighted. This is my new feasting hall. What do you think? It is a spectacular piece of architecture. Please sit in the seat of honour. Oh, thank you very much. I'm so delighted to have you here. I have a few new samples for you to have a look at. Mm. I know you always like to pick up a new sword every now and again. My hound is peaceful now. But however, you know what a fierce scar dog he is. You know I have raised this dog from when he was a little pup. He is my pride and joy. I don't know what I'd do if anything was ever to happen to him. But you know what I do now so we can relax? Please join me. To us. Slauncha. Slauncha. Well, before the rest of, of the guests come in from the other room and um, before I put the hound out because the best way for us to relax and enjoy this feast is for him to be patrolling outside. Not a living soul will get past him. He'll tear them to shreds. So very importantly, any guests that are coming from your household, are they all here now? Uh, sorry? All, all the guests, anyone from your household? Oh, sorry. Is, yes, of course. Yes. Everyone's here? E every, yeah. Everyone's here, so exactly. I, can, I can put the hound outside? Exactly. Fantastic. All right. Tar. <coughs> Tar. Cool. Tar. Tar. Tavemway, Tavemway, Nishlat. On guard. Hmm. Right, that's settled now, so everyone will be safe inside here, and I won't say more importantly, but very importantly, all my metal. And all my tools in my forge will be also safe. Not a thing will get past that hound out there. Who's that outside? What? Did you hear anything? No. I didn't know your dog could talk. <laughs> Neither did I. But strange times are afoot. Anything could happen. Hmm. I still, I think I might have heard something. Can you see anything? Oh, but oh, it's Satanta! Satanta, come in! Satanta, come, come in! This way. Come in! Oh, King Connor! Satanta! you on your bravery and I'm very glad you are not 
place your hound. I will protect your home as your hound did. But you were just a young boy. Will I beat your hound? I'll beat anyone who tries to get into your home. This indeed is true. And I hear my druid advisor saying, your name now shall be Ku Cullen, the Hound of Cullen. Ku Cullen. So Ku Cullen. And the name and deeds of Ku Cullen will be spoken for thousands of years to come in the land of Ireland. Come in and join the feast. I shall hey. attend to my hound. Hey. And so with great feasting, young Satanta, the warrior, was celebrated. None could believe his bravery and prowess with a hurl. And it was very sad for Cullen that his poor hound was dead. To Coo Cullen. And to my coo. Yes. And, and. But as the years went by, young Satanta kept his word. Initially, he couldn't get used to the name and said, I have a perfectly good name of my own. But when Shanika the Druid said, but you will be famous for your deeds throughout history. Our descendants and their descendants will speak your name. Then he was well pleased and took the name Ku Cullen and went on to be one of the greatest champions and warriors of all Ireland in all time. And there ends our story. And what Shanika the Druid said was in fact true. For here we are today, thousands of years later, telling the story of Satanta and how the mighty Ku Cullen got his name.